Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing straight lines and uh, we are discussing problems from miscellaneous exercise. This is lecture number 12, 13. I hope you have already watched part 1 to 12 before watching this part 13. So let us discuss some problems related to a straight line. And uh, in this one, the first question I would like to take here that is question number 7 from miscellaneous. We are discussing miscellaneous. Exercise. Right. Miscellaneous exercise. So question number 7 from here, find the equation of line drawn perpendicular to, the question is, find the equation of, find the equation of line, equation of line perpendicular to the line, perpendicular to the line, to the line x by 4 plus y by 6 is equal to 1 through the point through the point point where it meets y axis where it meets y axis y axis right so that is not separate so that will be separate perpendicular to the line to the line right? perpendicular to the line so that will be equation now try to understand we have to find the equation of line perpendicular to the line this through the point where it meets y axis means this line meet y axis right now so to get point of intersection on y axis we will put x is equal to j so solution will be to write solution to get point of intersection point of intersection on y axis on y axis put x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 and therefore y by 6 is equal to 1 or y is equal to 6 so the point of intersection is the point of intersection is zero comma six. We have to find now equation of line perpendicular to this and this line and passing through zero six. So slope of line given line. Slope of line. Slope of line x by 4 plus y by 6 is equal to 1 is m1 and that is minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y and that is minus 3 by 2 right minus 3 by 2 now slope of line perpendicular to it slope of line perpendicular to x by 4 plus y by 6 is equal to 1 is m2 then m1 m2 must be equal to minus 1 perpendicular perpendiculars then m1 m2 must be equal to minus 1 this employee minus 3 by 2 into m2 is equal to minus 1 and therefore m2 is equal to 2 by 3 now we have to find the equation of line which are perpendicular which are perpendicular to this now we have to find the equation of line which is perpendicular to this line that is uh, and passing through 0 to 0 6 so now equation of line equation of line passing through passing through 0 6 and slope 
टू बाई थ्री इज गिवेन बाई वन पॉइंट फोर गिवेन बाई y minus y1 is equal to m2 x minus x1 where x1 and y1 is what 0 comma 6 so y minus 6 is equal to 2 by 3 x minus 0 and that will be 3 y minus 18 is equal to 2 x and therefore 2 x minus 3 y plus 18 is equal to 0 this is the required equation this is the required equation. In uh, just for conceptual approach, what you need to find out here, try to understand. So in this question, uh, question is given in intercept form. There is a, a line, and in this line, this is a line, and here we have to calculate this x-axis and y-axis. This is x axis, there is y axis, and line is perpendicular to it. Line is even perpendicular to it. So, intercept from x by 4 and y by 6, this is the line. Right? So, x by 4 and y by 6 is the line. x by 4 and y by 6 is the line. This is a line x by 4 and y by 6, and you have to find the equation of line perpendicular to this on this. Okay. So, we have to find the equation of line perpendicular to this. This one. So, here is a point of intersection that is x is 4, comma 0, and y intercept is 0, comma 6. Right here. Then this equation is x by 4 plus y by 6 equal to 1. And because this is a perpendicular line, so we have to find the equation of this line. Right now? And that we have calculated what? That is the equation of line we have calculated as 2x minus 3y plus 18. 2x minus 3y is equal to 18. This is what? 2x minus 3y is equal to 18. This is you have to calculate that the point of intersection on y axis and point of intersection on y axis is 0, 6. So, you have to find the equation of this line. Okay. Now, the next question is question number 8. And question number 8 is the find the area of find the area of area of a triangle triangle formed by the lines formed by the lines lines y minus x is equal to 0 x plus y is equal to 0 and x minus k is equal to 0 x minus k is equal to 0 find the area of a triangle formed by this x minus k this is the k so how to find the area first we have to find the point of intersection of these two x is equal to k x is equal to constant is a line parallel to y axis right now so here the line will be equations will be like this so this is it line and uh, we can calculate it like this is x axis this is x dash this is y axis and y dash this one is y dash. Now, y minus x is equal to 0. This will employ y is equal to x. And y is equal to x is the line that will pass through a. y is equal to x is the line pass through origin. Right now, with an angle of 45. So, y is equal to x is this way. y is equal to x is this one. Here this line is x plus y is equal to 0 and that will be y is equal to minus x. So y is equal to x is this line, y is equal to minus x is this one. So here is another line that will be y is equal to minus x. Right? So that is another line that is y is equal to minus x. This is y is equal to x 
and x is equal to some constant is a line parallel to y axis. So therefore the third line is a x is equal to some constant, right? So that is a x is equal to constant is a line parallel to y axis. So line will be like this parallel to y axis that will be the line right this is x is equal to k x is equal to k this line is x is equal to k so point of intersection will be what point of intersection this line will be x is equal to k there will be point of intersection when x is equal to k y is equal to k so point of intersection is k comma k if x is equal to k y is equal to minus k so k comma minus k is this point and this point is 0 0 right now so origin is here so there are three points we have to find the area of triangle um, say this is o a and b so we have to find the area of triangle the point of intersection of lines are and this one is x is equal to k this is first there is second line and this is third line the point of intersection of lines are, are k k k minus k k k 0 0 k k and k minus k k comma minus k right so k comma minus k these are the three points. We have to find the area of triangle. So area of triangle can be calculated in two different ways. First way that uh, what the area of this triangle is they are equally same. So we can find area of triangle O A B is equal to twice of area of triangle. This is a perpendicular distance base is 2k and this is a height k. So area of triangle is equal to we can calculate and therefore area of triangle area of triangle OAB is equal to half of AB into OM half of AB into OM base into height right now this is a perpendicular no doubt about it and this is a base so 2K into M that is half of 2K length is into k and 2 to cancel and the area is k square that will be the answer right otherwise you can use the triangle formula also you can also go with the same method 2 is there method 2 area of triangle can be calculated area of triangle a o b triangle o a b is equal to half half into modulus of 0 into x into x2 minus x3 y2 minus y3 plus k into y3 minus y1 plus k into 0 minus k right now so that will be the answer and on the basis of this we can go ahead with uh, 1 by 2 this is 0 k into minus k is minus k square and again k into minus k into minus k square so that will be half into 2k square to, to cancel because out of modulus to be positive so k square is also you can write k square unit then return because then area so k square unit square or even unit is only sufficient because unit of area is the square the square k square is transfer. So that will be the answer. I hope you got it right. Now the next question that I would take here is a question number nine. And question number nine is there. Question number nine. Find the value of p so that find the value of p. Value of p so that the three lines so that the three lines three lines 3x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 px plus 2 is equal to 0 
dx plus 2y minus 3 equal to 0 dx plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 may intersect at one point may intersect at one point one point there are two method also to solve this question and what is that here there are three points three lines we can think about one is this another is say this one and third one is this one so we can have if all these three intersect at one point then what we have so in that case you can take this any one of these two lines you can take any one of the, these two lines and uh, this these are the lines the first line say 3x plus y minus 2 3x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 the second one is 2x minus y that is 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 minus 3 is equal to 0 isn't it 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 right and the third one is this one is bx plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 so solving this line these two lines solving now solution can be written as solving solving 3x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 and 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 to get point of intersection and you can do this by just adding them on adding what will happen y and y cancel and 3x plus 2x is 5x minus 5 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 1 putting value of x what will happen so putting the value of x 3 into 1 plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 3 minus 2 is 1 so y plus 1 is equal to 0 and therefore y is equal to minus 1 right now so point of intersection is therefore point of intersection point of intersection is age, so age 1 minus 1 if third line passes through it then it must satisfy the equation since third line since third line pass can pass through it and pass through it can pass through it can pass through it through it then it must satisfy then 1 minus 1 must satisfy satisfy the equation equation px plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 and therefore 3 into 1 plus 2 into minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0 this employee this employee p is equal to P minus 5 is equal to 0 and therefore P is equal to 5. That will be answered. So I hope you got it right now. There is another method in which also we can uh, solve this question. So for value of three lines are concurrent. And note, remember this here. If three lines intersect each other um, at a common point, then they are called concurrent lines. So one trick is there, that is the method 2 in which you can deal with, remember this, if three lines intersect each other at a common point, if concurrent lines, let me write the definition, that is called concurrent, concurrent lines, if three lines meets at common point 
and common point they are called concurrent lines they are called concurrent lines concurrent lines right they are called concurrent lines so remember this here method is condition is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 and a3x a3x plus b3y plus c3 is equal to 0 are concurrent concurrent then in determinant form there will be a1 b1 c1 a2 b2 c2 a3 b3 c3 is equal to 0 this is what the condition so if i write here the same thing using this concept so therefore lines lines what there are three lines now huh? 3x plus y minus 2 therefore lines 3x minus y 3x minus y 3x plus y minus 2 is equal to 0 3x plus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0 and 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0 are concurrent concurrent if determinant 3 1 minus 2 p 2 minus 3 2 minus 1 minus 3 is equal to 0 right now so we can do it like uh, solving this uh, we can have determinant type so we can write here there for this employee three types of you have um, understood this how determinant can be solved three types of this multi and this cancel two multiply by minus three is minus six minus product of these two that is three minus three times of this cancel this cancel so what will happen it is cancel then three multiply by minus one minus three and minus one multiply by minus two that is two plus two times of this cancel and this cancel so that will be minus three and uh, again two multiply by minus two is minus four so minus of minus four is plus four that is equal to zero so in that case what will happen this is uh, minus nine multiply by three is minus twenty seven this is plus three p or minus when you can write here this is a 5p minus p3 minus 2 is minus 5 multiply by minus p is 5p plus 4 multiply by 4 minus 3 is 1 1 multiply by 2 is 2 so 2 is equal to 0 and this employee 5p is equal to 25 and therefore p is equal to 5 so this is another method just another method which one you like most you can go ahead there is no problem right okay now the next question is question number 10 and what is that try to understand question number 10 is here if three lines if three lines with equations are three lines whose equations are equations are y is equal to m1 x plus c y is equal to m1 x plus c1 y is equal to m2 x plus c2 and y is equal to m3 x plus c3 right are concurrent are concurrent so that so that m1 c1 c2 minus c3 plus m2 c3 minus c1 plus m3 c1 minus c2 is equal to 0 so three lines are concurrent 
the lines are given like solution. So line is given like m1 x minus y plus c1 is equal to 0. The second line is m2 x minus y plus c2 is equal to 0 and m3 x minus y minus c3 is equal to 0 are concur concurrent if we have the formula either you can solve in the previous way or you can use this property of determinant what is a b c here coefficient of x coefficient of y and constant term so similarly if i write here coefficient of x coefficient of y of all these three lines first line second line third line so coefficient of x coefficient of y and coefficient of if determinant is m1 minus 1 c1 m2 minus 1 c2 m3 minus 1 c3 is equal to 0 and therefore on solving them what will happen m1 into this cancel this cancel so this will be minus c3 plus c2 minus c3 plus c2 minus m2 into this cancel this cancel so what is this minus c3 plus c1 and then m3 is equal to what is that this cancel this cancel minus c2 plus c1 is equal to 0 and that will come m1 c2 minus c3 isn't it you can write it m1 this will be m1 into c2 minus c3 plus m2 if i took negative sign think here if i took negative sign then c3 minus c1 will be there then c3 minus c1 c3 minus c1 and plus m3 c1 minus c2 is equal to 0 this you have to prove right now so that you have to prove so you can do that this is a simple way on which you can read this question now the next question that i would like to take on here question number 11 so question number 11 is there and what is that find the equation of lines find the equation of lines of lines through equation of lines through the point 3 comma 2 to the point 3 comma 2 and which makes which make which make an angle of an angle of 45 degree 45 degree with the line with the line x minus 2y is equal to 3. This is the question. So, how to deal with this? So, here is one line is given and uh, you have to calculate, find the equation of another line. Say, uh, this is a line right given and we have to calculate another line which is given as uh, another line which makes an angle of 45 degree to it right now so these are the lines which is at 45 degree with the first line right so 45 degree angle between them is what 45 degree the first line is given that is x minus 2 y is equal to 3 and we have to find the equation of this line so slope of line solution can be written as we have to find the slope because equation of line passing through 3 comma 2 this line passing through 3 comma 2 there is maybe any point and but making an angle of 45 degree with this line so we can have slope of line this slope of line x minus 2y is equal to 3 h y is equal to what m1 is equal to minus coefficient of x upon coefficient of y that is 1 by 2 and slope of required line is m2 let slope of required line slope of required line is m2 line is m2 right then tan theta is equal to angle between the lines is m2 minus m1 upon m1 plus 1 plus m1 m2 right now so using this fact we can 
slope of another line. So we can do this tan 45 is equal to what will happen? M2 minus M1. That is M2 we do not know. M1 is 1 by 2 upon 1 plus 1 by 2 M2. Right? Tan 45 is nothing else but 1. So if you remove this 1 is equal to 2m2 minus 1 upon 2 plus m2 this is what we come right and this employee 2m2 minus 1 upon 1 plus m2 is equal to plus minus 1 and therefore we can write 2m2 minus 1 is equal to plus minus 1 plus m2 and this employee if you take positive sign then there will be something different and if you take negative sign then value of m2 will be something different so 2m2 taking positive sign this employee 2m2 minus 1 is equal to 1 plus m2 this employee this m2 will come this side m2 is equal to 2 or or 2m2 minus 1 is equal to minus 1 minus m2 and this employee 3m2 is equal to 0 right now minus 1 minus 1 cancels out and this employee m2 is equal to 0 so equation of lines now therefore there are two equation of line equation of line with slope slope first value of m2 m2 is equal to 2 and passes through and passes through which passes through the point is given 3 comma 2 passes through 3 comma 2 is y minus y1 is equal to m2 into x minus x1 this employee y minus 2 is equal to m2 is 0 m2 is 2 and x minus 3 x minus 3 right now so what will happen this employee y is equal to 2x minus 6 plus 2 that is y is equal to 2x minus 2 this is the line y is equal to 2x minus 2 2x minus 4 this is one line again equation of line equation of line with slope m2 is equal to 0 and passes through passes through 3 comma 2 that can be what y is equal to y minus y1 that is 2 is equal to 0 into x minus 3 and that will be y is equal to 2 and therefore there are two lines 1 2x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0 and y is equal to Two are two lines. Two lines. That is answer. Right now, so if there are two lines. One is two x minus y plus minus four is equal to zero, or even you can write y is equal to what we have written here. Y is equal to two x minus four is the same thing. So there are two lines. Now you must be thinking that how this is possible that there are two lines which can make an angle of 45 degree to one line. So yes, this is possible because uh, this line can be make an angle of 45 degree on either side. Right now, it can be either side. So the next line can be like this, which will make an angle of 45 degree. This. So can be 45 degree with this side towards this or towards this. It can be two lines, right? Now. Passes through the same point and can be two lines. Lines can have 45 degree angle in this side, 45 degree towards this side. So this is also possible. Two in lines are possible here. Uh, two lines are possible at the angle between the image. So practically these are two lines making an angle of 45 degree passing through 3, 2 and another line is making an angle of 45 degree that is also 45 degree here and passing through 
three common things. So there are two possibilities. One of them has equation y is equal to two, while other has equation y is equal to two, and while other has equation this line has y is equal to two x minus four. This is what we obtain. Y is equal to two x minus four. So this is a line y is equal to two x minus four. So there are two lines, right? I hope you got it. So two possibility and two lines are there. So that's all in this uh, lecture, and uh, hopefully you have uh, learned many things, many new things, and some good concept to solve the questions. We will see you in, after the break. Thank you. Thank you very much. God bless.